Welcome back everyone, today we'll be reviewing the best 6 drones. All the product links are mentioned below in the description box. So without further delay, let's jump straight into the video. The tiny and lightweight DJI Mini 3 Pro takes DJI's popular mini drone series to new heights. The original DJI Magic Mini arrived in 2019 and was followed in 2022 by the Mini 2, which upped the video resolution from 2.7K to 4K alongside other improvements. But it's the Mini Pro 3 that really brings the wow factor to the sub 250G mini series. What's most impressive about this beginner drone is that DJI has managed to include a tri directional obstacle avoidance system inside such a small drone, but that's far from the only improvement over its predecessor. The Mini 3 Pro sensor is bigger. It's now a 1 1.3 inch CMOS chip. Its lens's maximum aperture has been increased to a bright f1.7. Its video capabilities have been vastly improved, and the camera can be rotated 90 degrees, enabling you to capture stills and video in both landscape and portrait format. Just when you thought the Mavic Mini was the most impressive small drone available, DJI has upped the ante with the Mavic Air 2, which sits comfortably between that model and the two prosumer Mavic 2 models. The overall design has been dramatically changed and with improved connection to the controller, noticeably longer battery life. 4K video at 60 frames per second, 48 MP stills from the new half inch quad bayer sensor, and a whole host of new functionality. This is a significant upgrade on the previous Mavic Air. For photographers and videographers who need a highly portable drone that can be easily carried alongside other photographic equipment to shoot raw stills, 4K 60p video, and slow motion FHD video. The Mavic Air 2 sets a new benchmark for what we can expect from DJI drones now and in the future. With the launch of the Mavic Air 2, DJI has produced a drone that will undoubtedly have a wide appeal thanks to its impressive smart flight features, stills, and video functionality, alongside the upgraded design, motors, and battery that provide significant performance upgrades over the previous model. The Mavic Air 2 isn't perfect, but it's a pleasure to fly and shoot with and could easily become the most popular DJI drone to date. This thin, bug-like drone is an excellent choice for flight experts and filmmakers. Its incredible vertical range camera captures 4K UHD films and 21 MP photos, plus sports two-point time lossless zoom. Its lightweight slim frame won't take up much room in your bag, but the lack of obstacle avoidance makes it difficult to recommend over DJI for newbies. And if I can hit 33 miles per hour, 55 kilometers per hour at full power, which is comparable to most non-competitive drones. We had a blast just flitting around obstacles and having Anafi spin around at tight angles. One thing we couldn't test was max transmission range. New York City has very strict rules about where you can fly your drone and how high it can go. Parrot claims you can hit up to 2.5 miles, but all we can guarantee is that we had no connectivity problems while it was in the line of sight but we can guarantee that Anifa is much less likely to infuriate your neighbors than your DJI drone. The rotor fan noise, which ironically sounds a bit like a small swarm of insects, doesn't seem to carry more than 100 yards away or so. After the flight test, we asked picnickers around the model airfield how noisy they would say the drone was on a 1 to 10 scale. All of them said they hadn't heard anything at all, though it's possible they were just being polite. Altel has spent the last few years trying to convince drone owners that good drones are made by companies other than DJI. It had some success with the EVO 2, but it took the announcement of a new generation of EVO series drones to really convince drone fans that it could take on the market leader with highly innovative products. The initial announcement was in August 2021, but it took till early 2022 before the excellent Autel EVO Lite arrived, to be shortly followed by the EVO Nano. Initially, both designs had issues, although those on the light seemed less concerned than the reports about the Nano and its performance in so-called ludicrous or sport mode. Since then, Autel has been trying to fix these problems and adds features that didn't make it into the original release, while also trying to keep existing customers happy. A great drone for beginners, Evo Nano is a sub 249G drone that is physically similar to the DJI Mini 2 using the same folding arm ergonomics to make it highly portable and quick to deploy. But where the DJI Mini 2 was more of a striped down design, the Nano has many features that DJI Air 2S owners enjoy. These include obstacle avoidance sensors, 
a sizable 1.28 inch sensor for capturing 4K video in low light conditions, and up to 48 MP still images, plus an enhanced communication system for long distance flying. The Rise Tello is the result of a collaboration between leading consumer drone maker DJI and fellow Chinese startup Rise. A simple, lightweight, and affordable quadcopter, it's clearly pitched at newcomers to the hobby. Despite its budget-friendly price, it comes with an onboard nose-mounted camera that's capable of capturing 5MP photos and streaming 720p HD video. You also get a reasonably sounding 13 minutes of flight time per fully charged battery and stability sensors to, theoretically at least, keep it from drifting off into walls, shrubberies, and neighbors' gardens. In other words, it has been stripped right back to the bone to keep costs low. Even the plastic body, while we wouldn't call it premium by any means, feels tough enough to survive a bit of rough and tumble. In a market dominated by drones that you can't fly in inclement weather, the PowerVision PowerEgg X provides an attractive option for photographers and videographers who want to be able to fly their drone in the rain and land it on water. But that's not all the PowerEgg X does. As well as being a drone, it can also be used as a handheld gimbal camera and an autonomous AI camera that can be mounted to a tripod and controlled using hand gestures. There's even a built-in microphone for use in the two camera modes. Despite the unusual design, the Power Egg X is easy to fly and handles well in the air. The waterproof housing and floats, which come with the Power Egg X Wizard Bundle, to change flight behavior, but not to such an extent that it makes flying the drone difficult. Still, these accessories do reduce flight time due to the additional weight and drag. Landing on water is a strange experience at first because it goes against everything you expect from a consumer level drone, but this quickly subsides and you can enjoy an entirely new way of flying and capturing stills and video. Naturally, image quality with the waterproof housing isn't as good as without it because you are shooting through plastic. This can produce a small amount of distortion depending on the angle of the camera, but being able to shoot stills and video in the rain alongside the ability to land the drone on water when the floats are attached make the Power Egg X Wizard unique. This opens up a range of creative and operational possibilities for photographers, videographers, and commercial drone pilots. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos.